how do you make metallic fonts in Canva? Stay tuned as we go through a step-by-step -step tutorial on making silver and gold metallic fonts. We will start by using a gradient tool, then customize the text with metallic shades, and finally explore another method for a more varied metallic appearance. This is the exact image you saw in the thumbnail of this video with two different types of metallic fonts. First up, open Canva. Head over to apps on the left sidebar and type gradient in the search bar. Look for type gradient app and click on it. Now type in the text you want for your metallic font. I'm going with how to make. Make sure to align it to the center and set the line height to zero. For the font, choose one that gives that metallic feel. I recommend Sinzel Bold Font. You can add as many colors as you want to the gradient, but only shades of silver and gold will give it a metallic font look. Other colors will just look like a regular font. So first, we will create a silver font. Let's add this text to the design and then modify its look step by step. For the leftmost color in the gradient, select a monochrome shade around 66% lightness. Make the second dot almost white. Here is the tricky part. Click the gradient spectrum near the center to add another color. Then choose a deep gray around 25 to 30% lightness. Set the last dot to a lighter 50 to 60% gray. Now click a date element. You will get this look and you can adjust these two dots in this preview to change the angle or move the gradient within the text. After making changes, click a date element to apply them. That's how you can make a metallic text with the type gradient tab. Are you finding this tutorial helpful so far? Give it a like. If you want to learn anything specific in Canva, let me know in the comments below. You can also make the metallic text in the other way. That is as how it's displayed in the thumbnail. Go to elements and then search for metallic letters and click on see all under graphics. You can also choose under photos but it might look a bit different. I would suggest going inside the graphics and choose any typical style, any one style that you want. I have used multiple styles in the thumbnail to show you that these styles are possible. But when you design, I would say just go with one style. For example, let's say I chose this silver A, that is a silver shiny alphabet letter A. If I choose to add this text, then I will click on see more like this under these three dots to get all the other letters. It's a bit difficult to find all the other letters by searching the same metallic letter B, metallic letter C, like that. So now I'm going to replicate the exact font that I have used here in the thumbnail. So instead of searching through all these, I'm going to again search for metallic letter Yam. Now we are getting the same style used in the initial few rows itself. This is a pro style. So if you want to use this exact same style that I'm using, you need Canva Pro. Or else you can choose any of these styles that are free. For example, all these styles which don't have this crown symbol are free. So if you're on Canva free, you can use those. Let me go with the style that I used in the thumbnail. After adding this letter M, I will go back and click C mode like this so that I get all the other letters. Let me add E and then T, A, L, L again, I and C. Now let's place them in the correct order. You will have to manually resize these text or these elements actually. If you want a guide to resize them easily, go to file and then click on view settings and then select show rulers and guides and then click on the top ruler and drag a line for our top guide and then drag one more line for the bottom guide. Now it will be easy to resize them based on these guides. Don't worry about the placement. Once they are in even size, it's easy to place them in the right order. Select all, go to position and then arrange Then you can choose horizontally under space evenly or just right click, select space evenly and then choose horizontally. Now press Ctrl G and then you can resize all of them together easily. If the guides 
mess up with these elements when you're resizing. Go to File, View Settings and then select Log Guides. Now they won't be selected when you select these texts. You can resize them easily. This looks good but if you want to create the same font for the T and L like in the thumbnail, I will show you the same font that I used. Search for metallic letter T and this one is the one I used, the silver metallic one. I just resized it a bit bigger to make it more prominent. For L, I used a different type of metallic fonts. So let's search for metallic letters L. You can see these two here. There is pressed molten metallic letter by Keith Rivera from Trendify. Once you have added it, you can press Ctrl D on Windows or Command D on Mac to duplicate it. Place one metallic L on top and one on the bottom. And we have got the same effect as in thumbnail, same metallic fonts. Now we can go back to the YAM and click C more like this. Then take the letters F, O, N and T. Now select all, go to position, horizontally place them. Then you can place it like this and then group all of them. Select all, press Ctrl G to group them and then you can place it anywhere you want. To make these metallic fonts prominent, you will need to add some dark paper background. So go back to elements and search for dark paper or something like that. There is a photo, add it and set it as the background. Even then, it won't be so good or so dark sometimes. So click on this image, go to edit photo, click on adjust and then reduce the brightness and even increase the contrast a bit to make this text more prominent. This is how you can make metallic fonts or even the same gradient fonts in Canva. Want to make your Canva design stand out but don't know where to start? This video reveals 6 cool text effects that anyone can use from beginners to pros, especially if you want to be a freelancer. Learn to create magazine worthy cutouts, fading shadows, depth, dimension and more on with easy steps. Click here to watch now.